Alright, sorry about that. I was just making sure that it was set to record my system audio so you all could hear it. And what I'm going to do now is export this and you guys will hopefully be able to hear it. I'm going to open up my volume mixer actually so to make sure you guys can hear it. And there we go. That's the sound for that. Now it doesn't, to me it doesn't sound well, so I'm going to go, what you do to go to these settings is you just click on the stage, you go to publish there and it says settings. And I'm going to change the audio for both things to 32, convert stereo to mono, I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to do the same thing to event. And me personally, I don't use stream. The only time I use stream is for when I make my openings because it's easier because it's easier to make it when you're hearing the audio as you're working um, and not having to go back to the beginning and play it and stop and do all that crap for me it's easier to do that and but for this it just gets in the way and it gets annoying and I also use it for music and fights because I it's just what I do now this on the other hand doing like when I'm scrolling through the timeline hearing the the steps and everything, that would just be plain annoying. So let's export that again, see if it sounds any better. And see, you can already, uh, hopefully now you can, like, already hear a difference in the sound. It might, to me, it sounds a bit more clearer and not as, like, deep and clunky as it did before. So now what we're going to do is do the same thing with the, uh, sound effect here. So let's see if we can find ourselves a good, like, quick dash, actually. That one will just work for now. Let's go with this jump dash. And we're just going to drop that there. And you see how far it goes down? It's not going to work. So you just go to edit. While you have this selected, of course. You hit edit. And you click this little thing here. And you just drag it up. And that makes it so it plays sooner. So if you play it, there you go. And now I don't worry about the sound effects while we're running, but for here, let's add ourselves a chaos control effect. So let's see if I have one already done. This chaos emerald. I don't have a chaos control one ready on hand. So let's look it up in the chaos for chaos control. I like this one. Let's go with this one. And it's an MP3, so I don't have to do anything. So let's drop it in. Again, do the same thing. And actually, I don't like how long this goes on, so I'm just going to shorten this up a bit. Just for sake of when I export it. There we go. Now let's export it and see. And see, that works fairly well. I like that. And now what we're going to focus on is the camera. Now, the camera is most important in my opinion. The camera lets you do all these cool movements and such. And I never change the layer for the V-cam. That's like the, the, for the camera. That's like all, the one thing I never change. It's the, there are actually several things I don't change. It's the layer where the background and tiles are. It's the where, layers where I put dialogue. And finally, it's the layers where I put the camera. And now, what we're going to do is go to my files, flash stuff, cameras, vcam action script 2. I'm not going to give you guys a special camera, but I'll have the one for this just regular old camera, vcam. In the in my on media fire as well. So what I do is go and go to the beginning. I'm gonna drag and drop this. Oh, and, and you see this? I can actually um, here in the library. I can switch between the different libraries of the different FLAs I have opened. And it's a quick way to get stuff out. So what we're gonna do is 
First thing we want to do is control all that's this. We're going to enlarge this by 200. Just like give you an idea of what it can do. We want to move it over here. And we're just going to like have it move over to the side. And then I'm going to hit control X. And I'm going to shrink it down like that. But by like, like that. I'm going to have a tween over here. And for camera, I do eases for the tweens to give it a smoother feel. And I'm going to speed this up because I'm just going to be messing around with the Let's um let's take a look at it for the um let's take a look at it actually. Now the one thing I want you guys to know is that you don't need to put any action script in for the VCAM. The file I'm sending I'm going to give you guys is actually already done. The camera already works. You don't need to do anything else for it. So you can try it out. It's all about trial and error. There you go. That is the basics of the floor, the background, sound effects, and the VCAM. That's pretty much all you need to know about these. Um, and actually, no questions are needed. I've got plans for the next one. I'm not going to tell you what they are. So, hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all again really soon.